welcome to the third exercise uh, in the Practicing Functional JavaScript series. And this one is called Resistor Color. Um, and I have the README open right here. So let's, let's get started. Uh, resistors have color-coded bands, each color, where each color maps to a number. Uh, the first two bands of resistor have a simple encoding scheme, where each color maps to a single number. And these colors are encoded as follows. And they have um, a list of colors here that map to number values. So black to 0, brown to 1, red to 2, all the way up to white to 9. Mnemonics map the colors to the numbers so that when they are stored as an array, they happen to map to their index in the array. Right, so that will be useful to kind of um, telling us how to structure this using an array. All right, so I will. Um, open the file that we're going to use to solve this right here. And over here on the right, we'll have our tests. I'll run our tests first. All right, so this is running the, the next exercise, which is resistor color duo. Um, so we don't want to run that one too. So just has an option to run only uh, tests related to changed files. Oh, let's see right here. So I'll run that. So we're only we're just focusing on resistor color, and just to make sure this is failing, we can get rid of this um, throw error statement. All right, so we have a failing test. Um, the first one, black, is failing. Expected, um, we expected zero, which corresponds to um, the number value for black, but we got undefined, and that's because. We're not returning anything, so let's let's um, let's change that. This should be pretty straightforward. Um, we'll first declare um, value parameter, and then we we want to return something, and we want to return the index of the value of the color string. Um, so I'll just call this color value actually to be a little bit more clear. And they've defined um, a constant below colors. And we can use this um, for our array. So I'll start with colors. And since we need the index of a value, we can use the method, the array method index of color value. All right, so this won't work yet because colors is undefined. It's not an array. But let's just see, confirm that. Yeah, so can it read property index of undefined? All right, so let's define the array. And I'm going to cheat and just copy this right here. And so this is the same array as in the readme. Black, brown, red, white. Black, brown, red, and ends with white. So um, we'll use that to save some typing and editing. And we can format with prettier, and then go to the single quotes, or the, the double quotes. Um, all right, so that's passing. Um, now able to access the index of black. So let's um, take a look at the other um, tests and see if they're still passing. So white. All right, white is good. Orange. Orange is good, and the array itself, which, which we know will pass since we copied it, but just for completeness. All right, so tests are passing, um, and now we, we can refactor it. Um, we can do a small refactor using uh, Ramda, um, and we'll use, switch over to the Ramda docs right here, and Ramda also has index, an array, or array which Ramda calls a list method called index of, so we can use that. So I will import index of right here. Import index of from lambda. And so if we look at it again briefly, oh, I didn't actually click on it. So it returns the position of the first occurrence of an item. So it works just the same as the JavaScript array.index of. The only difference is that we are 
um, passing the array or the list in as an additional argument to the index of. All right, so let's do that. So we'll just move color over here. And that should be all we need to do to refactor this. All right, still passing. And just to make sure, I'm gonna try breaking it quick. Ah, uh, yes, so we got index negative one since there is no black. All right. Okay, so this seems to be working. And I guess a final minor refactoring that we could do is remove the return statement um, and just make return the expression. So evaluate to the index that we need. All right, so that's, that's it for resistor color. Um, oh, actually, I forgot when we started to define or to, to, to write a, a type signature in a comment. So let's do that quickly. So color code is a function that maps from um, a string value to a number. So I should have started with this. But yeah, this is a pretty straightforward one. Um, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.